All praises to Howard Barsham, Howard Shai. Barsham, Makar, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the elect to the nation of Israel. This is going to be a quick video going into how Yahweh pretty much chose the least likely candidates for his salvation. Right? He didn't choose the people that people would have expected to be the best and, and expected to be those that are going to make it into his into his mercy and into his salvation when the day of the Lord's wrath comes. And I'm just going to quickly read from the book of 1 Corinthians, the first chapter. <clears throat> it says, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 25, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For ye, for, for ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble accord. So Yahweh didn't choose the best of the best from this from the world to bring into the knowledge of his son and into the knowledge of who he is also he didn't bring in the best verse 27 for god have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and god have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty so he didn't choose the best things from the world what are some of the best things from the world he didn't choose the most handsome people from in this world because if he chose the most handsome men from within the world standard of what handsome is and all of these things right well then women would have been flocking around right if he chose a bunch of absaloms right to 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 get to to give the word onto right and a bunch of people that look like male models or mr olympia right with abs and eight packs hanging all out, hanging all out and biceps bigger bigger than 20 20 inch biceps and all of this talk right to he then them people people would have just came to the word women would have came to the word women wouldn't be scoffing the word men wouldn't be scoffing the word neither because they'd be like well i want to have some of the same things that these people have and what they they look like the image that i want to look like so therefore i'm going to follow them but god didn't choose that verse 28 and the base things of the world and the thing which are despised have god chosen yea and things which are not to bring to naught the things that are, that no flesh sh should glory in his presence, but of but of him are ye in Hamashiach Yahushai, who of God is made unto us wisdom, and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, and that's where we get our we we get our glory from. Verse thirty one, according that it is written, he that glorieth let him glory in the Lord, and that's where where our glory is from, man. That's where our righteousness comes from. That's where our strength comes from that's where we we view and understand that we've got riches we get our riches from yahweh basham yahweh shai we get our wisdom from yahweh basham yahweh shai and we're looking for our riches from yahweh basham yahweh shai also because in this world we don't have things like that man we, we, we'll have a we'll have a normal job we'll have a normal life we just got normal basic lives man and obviously some brothers will have more than others but because they've got a heart and a, and a mind that's of a, of a um, brotherly nature, then, then their funds that they do have will end up being reduced anyway because they'll share it on with their brother, man. They'll naturally just want to share with their brother. And let me go to um, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 going into this topic a bit further because the people that are going to receive salvation are not expected to receive salvation. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labours. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. And all the salvations that Yahweh has ever done in this world, man, have always been have always been a salvation that people didn't expect to happen. He's always used used abnormal methods. To give salvation unto the Israelites, but the coming salvation is going to be so glorious that it's going to become a new celebratory day. It's going to be like almost like a, a second Passover, man. It's gonna, it's gonna almost, it's gonna be more memorable than what Yahweh did for the Israelites in the land of Egypt. And this is the scripture to prove it. This is Jeremiah chapter twenty-three and verse seven. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, Yahweh liveth which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, where Yahweh liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all countries where I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. And that's just that scripture is also proof that 
you didn't need to um travel over to no other countries in order to get salvation because you get salvation based on wherever you are and if i'm not mistaken there's another scripture that also speaks about this in jeremiah the 16th chapter yeah here we go this is jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 14 meaning that this is very important man because it's mentioned more than once and that's not to say that things that are important things that are only mentioned once are not important because the color of the son of god is, isn't mentioned very many times and that's very important because a little 11 11 of the whole lump so once you start accepting or trying to deny one thing then you'll happily deny another thing. This is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that it shall no more be said, Yahweh liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, or Yahweh liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands where he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave to their fathers. So people people are going to experience that, man. The people, the people of the world are going to see us getting taken away from everywhere that we are and getting brought onto the land which Yahweh gave to our fathers. All, all Israelites all over, from all over the world are going to be gathered. And these aren't going to be people that people expected to receive salvation. And that's why people are going to be cut to the soul and they're going to be saying the things that it mentions in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Verse 3, And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision, and a proverb of reproach. We fools account his life madness and his end to be without honour. How is he numbered among the children of God and his lot among the saints? Therefore have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We wield ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there ain't no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. And people right now, they actually, a lot of people actually think that the way how they're living is a godly way. You've got these Muslims that they think that their way is a godly way. You've got these people following the doctrine of Christianity that they think that their way is the right way. We've got all these people that worship gods with eight arms. You've got these Sikhs. You've got all these, you've got the Buddhists, you've got Hinduism. You've got all these different religions that think that they're believing in the God that, that runs the earth, right? But they're going to find out that all those ways that they thought was the true way was nothing, to do with anything to do with the Bible, man. Because Yahweh said that he's going to do all of these things so that no one later on can try and say, oh yeah, my God did it. My God, my God made this happen. He's already said that he was going to do these things from way before every single person alive right now was even born. So that no one can try and, when this stuff happens, <coughs> try and claim that they did it or try and claim that their God knew about it. And the main thing is that in that is going to be Yahweh, the, the name Yahweh Shai. When, when Yahweh Shai comes and it's made known that his name is Yahweh Shai, because right now we're saying Yahweh Shai ultimately through faith, man. And we're saying that the Lord's name, the, the Father's name is Yahweh ultimately through faith. The main proof is going to be when Yahweh Shai shows up and confirms that his name is in fact Yahweh Shai. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and verse 7. We, we weird ourselves in a way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What have pride profited us? Or what good have riches with our vaunting brought us? And the riches brings pride. And, and, and the pride, like the pride makes you want even more riches and makes you boast and more and more in the riches to where you never want to give riches up, man. To where you always constantly chasing more and more funds to where you'll look up to somebody that's richer than you right but you'll look down and treat people that have worse than you like garbage and then the people that have got the same amount of wealth as you you'll look at them as as an enemy or as like a additional stepping stone as well as the poor in order to get to those that have got the riches that you desire verse 9 all those things are passed away like a shadow and as a post that hasted by Meaning that all the riches that people have got is going to be transferred, man. And most of the riches that these people have anyway have been given according to what it says in Sirach, the 10th chapter. This is Sirach chapter 10 and verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. Most of these people that you've, that you've seen with riches, right? They ain't made that money from no honest means, man. They've been doing dodgy stuff, man. Like, for even for example, the stock market and all of that kind of stuff, Right? 
a lot of these devils be doing inside the trading, man. So they know that a particular stock is going to be, let's say, $10 on June, right? So they'll wait till the stock gets high. They'll buy it, they'll buy it at a certain price. And then when it's going to go, when it gets to a good price, they'll sell theirs off, right? And then when they go, they know it's going to go down to 20 So now they're like, well, I'm going to take all the profit that I've made earlier on, right? And now I'm going to buy maybe three times as much as much of the same stock when it goes to $20 in June. But the price was now, and now is $100. So I've made my profit there. And now I'm going to take all my profit plus the initial money that I put in there and pump it all back into this one stock. And then I've been told from a good report that in, that in October, it's going to go back to $40. So therefore, I'm going to be able to make twice as much money when I put it in this time. I'm going to make 100% profit on that in such a short amount of time. And that's what these devils do, man. Rich is got by deceit. They'll lie on their CV and all of these things. They're lying, man. They're just liars. They'll lie on tests to get a job. They'll lie. They'll they'll write on a pen. They'll write on a. They write the answers to an to a university exam on their wrist or something like that. I've seen this. I've saw it with my own eyes, man. They'll they'll take a little piece of paper with the with the answers on there and take it into the university exam with them. They'll just cheat and deceive. And there was a whole scandal with like a while back, not maybe like a year back or whatever where you had a lot of these celebrities were getting caught out for bribing the, their kids, like, universities and colleges, man, to um get their kid into universities. Even though the kid, the, the child had already been through all the best universities and all the best schools, so why would they need to cheat if they're so smart? Because they're not, really. But anyway, back to this. Wisdom of um, Sirach chapter 10 and verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by the seat... The kingdom is translated from one people to another. Verse 9. Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such a one set of his own soul to sell. Because while he liveth he cast away his bowels. And that's what a lot of these people are on man. In this music industry. In this. In boxing. In sports. In a movie. In the movie industry. They're all. Even in a normal job man. They're all selling their soul and like. Doing doing wickedness behind the scenes, in order to in order to get a higher position in the world, man. They're not doing it. They're not doing it by righteousness. It's by riches got by deceit, man. This is wisdom of Solomon chapter five and verse nine. All those things are passed away like a shadow, and as a, and as a post that hasted by, and as a ship that passeth over the waves of the water, when it is gone by, the trace thereof cannot be found, neither the path of the keel in the waves. Or when as a bird hath flown through the air, there is no token of a way to be found, but the light air being being beaten with the stroke of her wings and parted with the noise with the violent noise and motion of them, it passeth through, and therein afterward no sign where where she went is to be found. And what that's basically saying is all the riches that these people had and all their pride, it's gonna disappear, man, overnight. It's gonna disappear overnight, like it's, it's going to be a very hard pill for these devils to swallow when they go from being able to go to Starbucks, being able to get the chicken, <laughs> the chicken Big Mac, you know, the Big Mac Deluxe and add an extra 30p to go large, being able to go to, a, I don't know, man, being able to go to like a Marco Pierre White's restaurant, you know, being able, over here in the Midlands, being able to go down to Brindley Place and have a few beverages on a brunch meal, you know, over in over in London, being able to go to, uh, I don't know, Piccadilly Circus or Oxford Circus for a bit of shopping, you know, and then, and then head off to Piccadilly later on for a nice meal. All of that's going to be taken away, man. And I'm sure there's other, other places that are nice, places that I can think of as well, but it's skipping my mind right now, man. All the nice places, all the niceties of this world, all that's going to be taken away overnight man for these Edomites and for all the rest of these heathen too and the Israelites are going to be changed out of the low position that they're in and brought into a higher position straight away as well and that's why it's a good thing if your is not giving you the best of the world right now man because it's keeping you just humble enough to where you're like well he's not completely giving me the worst but he's not giving me the best either so he's giving me just enough to get by um 
so like your wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and verse 12 or like as when an arrow is shot at a mark it part of the air which immediately cometh together again so that a man cannot know where it went through even so we in like manner as soon as we were born began to draw to our end and had no sign of virtue to show but were consumed in our own wickedness so they're going to understand that they was being wicked man they're going to understand that when they were scoffing like the word of the Lord, that they was being wicked. They're going to understand that when they was judging a man based on his appearance, rather than what he actually physically does and what words come out of his mouth, right? They're going to understand that they was being evil when they was doing that. Women are going to understand that too. Women are going to understand that when they was looking men up and down, checking out his whole, trying to trying to find out what his whole bank balance was, checking his hair, being like, oh, he doesn't really have a shape up though, so he might be he might be a bum. When I was looking at his clothes, well, that's not that's not um that's not Balenciaga, so I'm not really feeling that guy. Or when I was looking at his trousers, man, he ain't got a what what's a good pair of jeans, man. I don't really know, man. I don't really know, but some spent some expensive jeans, man. When I was looking at his shoes and seeing that he ain't rocking Chelsea boots or something, you know. When they were just checking his whole swag, oh, he doesn't wear blazers and suit and ties, so he's probably a buster. You know, that I don't want no scrub spirit that they like to have, right? When they was examining a person all based on that, they're going to realise that that wasn't the way to be, man. All these Edomites that was racial profiling, Jake, they're going to realise that they was being scumbags and that they was lied to. The elites already know what's going on for real, but they've made everybody else accept the lies. Verse 13, less of my words, less verse 13. Even so we, like manner, as soon as we were born, began to draw to our end and had no sign of virtue to show, but were consumed in our own wickedness. For the hope of the ungodly is like dust that is blown away with the wind, like a thin froth that is driven away with like us with a storm, like as the smoke which, disp is, which is dispersed here and there with a tempest and passeth away as a remembrance of a guest that tarrieth but a day. But the righteous live forevermore. The reward also is with the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore shall he, they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. And that's what's going to be given, man. For all those people that are fight diligently for Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shai. Like, that's a heavy, a heavy thing, man. And like, that's, that's what we should all hope to receive, man. That's what we should hope. We should hope that Yahweh puts the works in us to do the things worthy to get this verse 16 therefore shall they receive a, glo a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the lord's hand for with his right hand shall he cover them and with his arm shall he protect them he shall he shall take to him so lucky he shall take to him jealousy for a complete for complete armor and make the creature and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemy so all these people that are talking about how you got to, you can't abhor Edomite and all of that. Well, Yahweh is going to make us a creature for a weapon for revenge against his enemies. So you already know what's going to be happening. I don't need to say. It's obvious what's going to be happening, man. But I'm going to end the lesson there. I just wanted to do a quick video on how Yahweh chose the least likely candidates candidates for who's going to receive salvation, man. So you can't really, you can't really ever say, oh, this man, He's definitely a man of the Lord because the de the men of the Lord are going to be decided in the last time, man. Obviously, there's certain things where you look at a guy and you be like, well, he's got to be because wh why else would uh, you have kept him doing what he's doing for so long? Or why would you have kept them doing what they're doing for so long? But the ultimate test is going to be proved in a latter time, man. This is First Peter chapter 1 and verse 2. Elect according to foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shah Yak, grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the Father and power, so like blessed be Yahweh, blessed be the f power and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Yak, which according to his abundant mercy have begotten us again unto, the lively unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shah Yak from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. So all the people that are of the elect have already 
sealed, man. It's already destined that you're getting it, whether you, whether you, even if you said, you know what, I want to be a demon in the world, but I'm gonna go in the world and be a demon. I'm a, I'm a get, I'm a get it the ski mask way. I'm a, I'm a be go out here and be a demon. He's programmed in you that you're not gonna do that. Just like how when Jeremiah said he's not gonna mention the word, the Lord anymore, but it was like a fire burning in his, in his, in his, in his soul. Roughly, I think it says in the fire burning in his soul or in his heart. He said it to some way like that. So it's a luckier from not 100% right on that. But he couldn't not talk about the Lord, even though he didn't want, even though he thought, I don't want to mention it anymore because I'm catching hell. He couldn't not do it. Because when he tried to not speak, he always ended up speaking about it, even, even still again. And that's the same thing with everybody that's been chosen. The world views them as nothing, right? But Yahweh has already programmed them in to be what he wants them to be. And they've been kept by the, I'll read it again, verse 5, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation. So the faith that's been given as them, given to them as a gift is going to keep them going to all the way to salvation because their faith is never going to turn off. So they're always, no matter what they do wrong or no matter how bad things happen in their life or no matter how many times they fall, they're going to always have that faith in the mercy that God can give. And that's going to keep them going all the way up to the last times and then they're going to get revealed as though oh he was of the elect oh he was of the elect oh he was oh she was oh him oh i kind of expected he was but now i've got the proof that he was oh he is as well oh she is oh that's a surprise this woman's one i wasn't expecting that oh he's a, he's one oh I, I wasn't expecting him to be of the elect but it's not going to be of our choice it's not our choice we better hope that we're of the elect each one of us better hope that we're of the elect man we ain't got no right to be to be like. We ain't got no right to be, like, worrying too much about who else is of the elect to a certain degree, because we have to make sure that we are of the elect or, or, or ultimately. And if everyone if everyone has that mindset, well then, it will be shown who it will. Everyone will be, like, seeking out their own salvation, like the scriptures say, with fear and trembling, man. I hope I didn't say nothing wrong there, man. But yeah, so lucky. If I if I said something wrong, you so lucky. How about Shami I was right. And I end the I end the lesson there. Like the yeah, Howard chose the least likely candidates. He chose the least likely candidates for salvation, and he didn't choose the best of the best from the world. He chose the things that the world rejected, just like how they rejected you. Howard Shai. Shalom warm to the elected nation of Israel and all praises to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Ba'asham Makar Kodash.